myself, Pastor Daniel Muir and Elder Rufus, we are going to be doing a bi-weekly show, and we're going to be doing it uh, during the Lions Den, uh, and it's going to run for an hour or two, to where we are actually going to be dealing with truth. Uh, the host of the show, Michael Israel, is actually going to pose some questions. We're going to have some sound bites and clips that people use, like over there they do at Jason Whitlock on Fearless. Uh, some of these Christians out there who telling you that they're telling you the truth, we're going to test that both. We're going to use their video clips and let, let them express exactly what they say. And we want you to hear what they say, but then we're going to answer you with the unadulterated, uncompromising word of truth. But you will need your Bible with you because you need to follow along. We're not going to be holding men's personage in admonition or an advantage of gain. So this, this Wednesday, um, we're going to do it during the last day. It's going to be on the Pastor Dow's channel, uh, this channel right here. And we are going to be not only talking about truth, we're going to show you the hypocrisy in a lot of these religious leaders who are afraid of their wives, who say that they're masculine, but they're not. We're going to expose the effeminate preachers, the false preachers, the false teachers, and we're going to prove all things and hold fast to that which is good, just like the word says. I'll be interested. And not only that, we're even going to invite some of them to come on with us. So we can test this post and dialogue. But don't get me wrong, I'm not going to hold my breath. I couldn't get nobody to accept the ten and $20,000 challenge on biblical marriage. Nobody out of the whole of the world with all those tens of thousands of views, nobody bid on it with all this truth slinging everywhere. And all these people that are adamant about standing on the truth and loving the truth. Crickets, zero, nothing, nada. What does that tell you? Oh, I'll do it for free. We ever going to invite smart Christian on too. How about that? The one who say he's smart, but he dumb as hell. We're going to invite him on too. We're going to let him get they say. See, I'm trying to think of creative ways to get these people away from around their little private platforms where they like so-called touting truth. That's what they say. So we're going to test it. Either way it goes, we're going to expose them. Either way it goes, we're going to expose them. We're going to have a healthy dialogue. And we're going to let truth rain down like fire hope to see you there I'll give you more information as we go on so I'm sure there's something that everybody's going to enjoy we're probably going to make it ah uh, let me see probably going to make it 6 o'clock central standard time this upcoming Wednesday 6 o'clock central standard time um and we'll run it to about 8 somewhere along in there but we'll see it ought to be very interesting this is going to be a bi-weekly show starting off Pass this video around. Tell everybody to be ready. Because we're going to be ready. We are going to be there. And it, I'm telling you, this is something I know that people are going to enjoy. Not only that, we're even going to invite in a couple of these Hebrew leaders. Christian leaders. We're going to invite. We're going to have different subjects and things we're going to be talking about. We're going to invite people in to see if they really, truly are truthers. We're going to see if they're truthers. They really, truly want to have a good healthy strong vigorous dialogue can't call it a debate because you can't get nobody to, to get up in front of the debate but we're going to talk about these issues whether they show up or not we still are going to talk about it and we're going to pull a first Thessalonians 5 21 we are going to prove all things and we're going to hold fast to that which is good looking forward to seeing you Wednesday this